in match problem seven, now we have a new case to consider. What we're dealing with here is a piecewise function. So a piecewise function is a function that has different definitions. So here either 2x plus 3 or negative x plus 12, depending on different values of x. So if x is less than 5, if x is greater than 5, the definition for this function changes. So as we start considering some limit problems here, we need to understand which half of this definition we want to look at. So for x less than 5, that means x could be 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 10,000, down to negative infinity. So this is the same idea as x approaching 5 from the left-hand side. So starting with negative infinity, working our way up to 5, and x greater than 5 is the same idea as x not being greater than 5, that's the same thing, as x approaching 5 from the right-hand side. So if x is something greater than 5, we're starting with positive infinity, working our way down to 10,000, 100, 7, 6, and then getting up to but not quite equal to 5. So when we look at, in part A, the limit as x approaches 5 from the left-hand side of our function f of x, we have to look at the half of this function where x is approaching 5 from the left-hand side. So what this means in part A is that we're considering the limit as x approaches 5 from the left-hand side of the first half of our function, or that first part of the definition for our function. <clears throat> so we're taking the limit of 2x plus 3. Now we have a polynomial function, so we can use direct substitution. This is going to be 2 times 5 plus 3, or 10 plus 3, which is 13. So evaluating the limit here was very straightforward, if what we did in match problem 6 made sense. The only difference here is understanding which part of the definition of that function we're supposed to look at. So in part B, we're considering the limit as x approaches 5 from the right-hand side, which means now we want to consider values of x that are greater than 5. So we're looking at the other part of the definition for our function. So now we're considering the function negative x plus 12. Again, we still have a polynomial function. So this is going to be negative 5 plus 12, which is 7. So we have the left-hand limit, we have the right-hand limit. Now we want to answer what is the limit as x approaches 5 for this function f of x. In this case, that limit does not exist because, again, our right and left-hand limits are not equal to each other. So we come back to that theorem frequently. If the right-hand limit, I'm sorry, if the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are different, the limit of the function at that point does not exist. And the other thing that we can consider then is what's the value of our function at 5? So this may not be immediately obvious, but in this case, our function value at 5 is undefined. The reason being that we have definitions for our function when x is something less than 5. We have definitions for our function when x is greater than 5. But there's no statement over here where x can equal 5 itself. So in this case, that means the function is undefined. If one of these inequalities were different, if this was a less than or equal to, if this was a greater than or equal to, we'd be able to evaluate the function. Or if we had a third statement, some third value here, some expression, for when x equals 5, we would have a solution. But we don't have any of those cases. This function is undefined when x equals 5, so that function value at 5 is just undefined. 